you towards Russia. Since you loved our video about Vedenka, we decided to keep you posted on all of the upgrades of the park. If you didn't watch the video about Vedenka, so please follow the link and watch it over here. Subscribe our YouTube channel and follow us on social media not to miss all of these releases. So I remind you that Vedenka was the Soviet park presenting the achievements of the national economy. So it has several pavilions presenting the former Soviet republics. Some of them are closed, some of them are open, some of them are undergoing the restoration. These days, Vedenka is different. It's the center of the sports, entertainment, museums, travel and education. Creativity enhancing, informative, entertaining cartoons have been raising or upbringing kids for many, many years. The first animation studio in the Soviet Union was opened in the 1930s and it is known as Soyuz Multfilm. All of the world, almost worldly known cartoons creatures are presented here through the installations and different videos and games in Vedenha, in the place which is known as Soyuz Mult Park. Let's get to know with all of the cartoons creatures and welcome to my childhood. One of the most famous Soviet cartoon is known as the Yena the Crocodile and Chiburashka. So this story was created by a famous Soviet writer, Eduard Spensky. The story is very simple. It's about the friendship between the crocodile and the creature which doesn't exist on the planet, in the nature, Chiburashka. Crocodile used to work in a zoo, living in a big city and playing chess alone after work. So once upon a time he decided to put advertisement around his area to find new friends. Thus he met Chiburashka. So you probably know this uh, character because it was very much used as the mascot for the Russian national team uh, for the Olympic Games. So the first hole is with a huge screen. So when you step on the parts of the screen or somewhere around, you can leave the traces behind you. And create different forms as you like. So mine are flowers and stars. Along with the whole story, you can shoot your personal video with uh, Gena the Crocodile and Chiburashka. Just uh, you go inside the box here, you can say hi, and then you can get your video. There is a hall which has several screens presenting different cartoon creatures or cartoon characters. And if you stand on a special spot, the favorite cartoon creature is going to repeat all of your moves. Let's see. So I have to get out of the bees to stay on my balloon to get the honey. Everyone likes the stories or adventures of the hunter and the prey. Almost like a famous Tom and Jerry, the hare and the wolf are hating each other. And while one is trying to catch the prey, another is trying to insult the hunter. This cartoon story is known as Nu Pagadi or Just You Wait, as it's called. And when the plans of the wolf are failed, he likes to yell, no pagadi.
The second floor is like a creative corner for your kids as just right here they can draw their cartoon creature and see how it moves on the screen. The other corner has more screens and they are all somehow related to particular cartoon which are famous here within the local kids. What are you supposed to do? You have to get this uh, special screen, put it into uh, another screen and then some creatures appears on your screen which you're holding and you have to get from the list of different uh, creatures which one is suitable for this cartoon. So I know that this cartoon is Mowgli and this is Mowgli and I'm right. There are virtual reality spots and our local guide is going to explain how it works. It's just like a coloring book or the space where you can create different forms. So you draw the thing in three dimensional. So uh, you have to wear the VR glasses and paint whatever you want. You're kind of standing in a black box and you can put any colors you want. This spot is related to the cartoon which is known as the mystery of the third planet. This part basically has different tasks and kids are going to answer all of the questions. All of the tasks are related to the story of the cartoon. In this case we have to make the robots alive again. On the underground floor, there are also several rooms related to particular cartoons. Uh, and uh, here we are supposed to solve the problems of the uh, uh, main character. In this case, this is again Winnie the Pooh, and we are going to get honey by getting out, helping him to get out of the bees. in the palace of the Snow Queen and uh, Snow Queen Palace has crystals. If you just slightly touch the crystal it's going to change the color and produce very wonderful sound. And sounds are different from different sides. In another room you have to jump to put some wood in the stove when stove cooks the piragi and then you have to catch them to feed the main character here, waiting. No food, no food for the main character now, we are on a diet. <laughs> So in another room, kids together wearing the VR glasses are traveling around the cartoons worlds, uh, you know, being a guest of different cartoons, creatures. Uh, also, there is a goal in this task. They have to help one uh, cartoons character to find all of the males around the different worlds. Remember the fictional character created by a Swedish author Astrid Lindgren Carlson on the roof, who thinks that he's the best. So there is a story or cartoon based on this uh, story, Soviet one, and uh, here in the museum you have an opportunity to walk on the roof with Carlson. At the end of the tour, you can get to the room which describes the history of each particular cartoon, when they were created, from what they started. And you can come, find out the year that it was created, touch it, 
and find some interesting facts about the cartoon. Here's Carlson one. <laughs> 